Hello great people, African Travel again and today I'm going to take you to this exciting project that has been going on for quite some time right now, the Ngong Road expansion. So so the, the most interesting part, thing about this road is that it was divided into sections. Uh, the first section was completed some years back and uh, right now what is going on is the second and the third section that is between uh, Prestige Mall and uh, up to current so prestige mold uh, up to Kona which is slightly above junction is given uh, is being done by the Japanese uh, contractors and from Kona to current is being done by the Chinese so today I'm going to give you the contrast between the two guys the two different uh, companies or countries how they do their roads so this video is very subjective and uh, yeah so feel free to share your own opinions on what you think and what are the future goals so thank you so this is Ngong Road so this road has been under construction uh, for a couple of years and uh, yeah I think uh, it was divided into two sections actually three the first section was actually completed some years back uh, that is from to prestige center then uh, the second uh, part was divided from prestige to to Kona or junction mall and the third part was uh, was given to a third uh, contractor which was from Kona to Kare so the uh, the first two part has been have been done by the Japanese actually it was a Japanese grant uh, that is from around uh, Kenyatta National Hospital, those side, to, to Kona, just up, slightly past Junction Mall. Now, um, and the, other third, uh, the last bit has been give, was given to a Chinese company. And the most interesting thing is that uh, all this, I think, was subcontracted to local companies. And um, I can tell you for sure the Japanese side looks really really beautiful uh, has details in it you can see there are a lot of marking uh, just the japanese style uh, there's a grill on the middle there are flowers you know the, the drainage system is totally clear as compared to the other side and uh, for me i will show you guys the other side but uh, i want you to see I don't know if uh, this is an, a major road, so I believe it's under Kena or Kura. I don't know if it's Kena or Kura. So, but uh, the thing is, it's really sad to know that the same the same body approves the road on the other side to say it's okay. Is the same person who said this side was okay because the the difference is really really huge. It's, it's really, really huge and sometimes these are the things that are really letting our country down. So the J Japanese are really taking so much time. You can see you have some footpath, we have some cycling lane, and uh, we have the road, we have drainage, we have a flower bed. So all these things are factored in uh, when the Japanese are uh, building roads and actually they just imported their style of building to, to Kenya so, and it's the same thing they did to Olitoktok Road which is in Kileleshwa Lovington the details as you can see somebody can cycle another one can walk freely and you always have uh, bus parks after every distance just to allow people to stop over the details that is one thing I love about the, the kind of building roads so this is the junction mall on my right and just from here we're going to the other side down by the Japanese the Chinese see the drainage
end of these rails uh, in the middle exactly here this other side is being done by the Japan by the Chinese just see the contrast the difference in terms of building the road that we're using right now is not even even it's like I'm going through an ass road a rough road you know and there's somebody somebody from the same government authority that said uh, gave notes to the constructor and told him you can proceed to the next step it's really really sad it's really sad I know the road is not over yet but I can tell you the quality is really really low the quality of the drainage just look at that drainage system it's really low they actually started at the same time that this guy is way behind schedule way way behind and the standard and the quality is really really low so we are right now at current roundabout This is where the, the, the Chinese contractor is supposed to end the project. The current roundabout. There should be another project heading to Ngong Town. Just see the quality of work. Tell me if you can compare with the other side. Leave a comment. quality is shitty two the guy is very very late and you should always have contracts whereby if you are late you're supposed to pay some fine to the government uh, where government should pay you less and number two you should have co strong controls you know if there's a government uh, authority a person who approves such a road and you have two contractors doing the same road at the same time and the quality is totally different and the value to be paid is totally the same uh, it doesn't really make sense to the taxpayer so taxpayer should have a body to control this kind of shitty uh, workmanship I don't know why Karen always suffers such things huh? just see the quality because the guy who was doing the guy who has been doing the road from the hub all the way to what do you call it uh, the, the waterfront mall has been doing it it's about two or four kilometers but has been doing it for over five key five, five years shitty quality poor workmanship over delays and the guy will still get another contract so it's really really sad for me whenever I see such guys getting more and more deals with the shitty services so okay guys that's it see you on the next one so if you haven't subscribed please subscribe if you haven't liked please like and uh, if you like you can leave a comment just see the, what this, this is the southern bypass change interchange at Karen they really did a good job here especially the Chinese but uh, the guy who's doing uh, the Ngong Road the Chinese side I'm sure it's a it's, they've subtracted it subcontracted it to a local and uh, the quality is really really shitty and I think I'll be mentioning more and more of such it's not always positive whenever you see something wrong and uh, you love your country it's important to say it so peace out guys thank you and see you on the next one peace out